Crafters, it's Simply Pam, and today's card I'm making is for my pink stamper, Robin, and it's her birthday today, and I got so busy with school and stuff last week, I totally forgot to make her a card, so I'm making her a card and uh, mailing it out today, um, so she'll be getting a little bit late, sorry. Um, the stamp I'm using is from her Even More Pennylicious stamp set, and it says, Happy Belated Birthday. How fitting, huh? <laughs> so to, it's, it's going to be a fairly simple card. Um, I'm using, this is an A2 size card. It's 8.5 by 5.5, and, and then you fold it over. It's 5.5 by 4.25, and, and that's just a standard A2 size uh, card. And the colors I'm using is Hibiscus Burst, Simply Chartreuse, White, and True Black from uh, Paper Tree Ink. So I'm going to, this um, um, B is from Create a Critter, and I cut him out at three and a half inches, and I'm making him pink and uh, um, black, of course, because she loves pink. And then um, I punched out this flower and circle from Stampin' Up! Punches to um, put the sentiment on. I haven't seen, I haven't checked to make sure that it will fit, so if it doesn't fit, I'll be doing a different plan. <laughs> So let's check it out first. So I'm going to put the, the bead together first. And I'm going to stamp the face first because um, just in case it, I mess up, I can just flip it over and use the other side. So stamp first is my first clue. My first tip, I should say, not first clue. Anyways, so the stamps I'm using, um, it's kind of funny. Um, it's the P.G. Keen uh, Once Upon a Princess stamp set in size 1 and 1 8. I actually have the stamp set in the assortment pack, but the huge one that comes with it is too big, and the next to largest one it comes with was too small for this face. And I got this in a, um, I won um, a, a challenge, and I got this stamp set. And I was going to save it, since I had this sorbent pack, I was going to save it for a giveaway. But this actually happens to be the perfect size for the face. So, sorry. <laughs> I'm keeping it. So I'm going to use um, this little stamp. It has a little, um, let's see, I'll show you. This stamp set right there. Or that stamp, I should say. I love peachy keen stamps. They just um, add, just add that little extra something to your projects. It's a lot better than what I can draw. That is for sure. That's cute. And then let's stamp um, the sentiment. Okay. I love her stamps. They're, they're really great quality. They have such cute sayings. I love her fonts. I just love, love. So let's see if this even will fit. Oh, just barely. Perfect. Now stamping before I put it down just in case I mess up. Perfect. Oh, that is a cute font. I love that. Way cute. Okay, I'm going to put this together. Well, I didn't put, quite put that on correctly. I actually think I put this face on upside down because I have some black trim over it. So I'm just going to trim it off. OK, 
Okay, much better. You can't see in the black now. I should have checked that before I stamped. <laughs> okay. So next I'm going to put on the wings. That way I kind of get an idea of where the belly stripe goes. I got a little bit of scratch paper just so I can play with the glue. I usually use a larger, but I don't have one nearby. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I think I chose the wrong one. Alright, I need to do a little bit more trimming. I think, I don't know if I put it on backwards or what, but I am off on my stuff today on putting things together. Let's try the belly band to see if this will even work. Okay, that will work just fine. She just looks really bald, so I might put like a flower up there. Let me see if I can find one or something. Okay, I'm going to use my cuddle bug and use my seeing spots embossing folder. It's the fat round one. I'm going to put a little white dot in each of these little flower petals just to add a little extra ump. Okay, before I do my glitter, I'm going to put on my inside, which is the same color, Simply Chartreuse in the white. So on this card, I'm going to um, see if I can if one of these flowers will work. I haven't used one of these in a while, so I'm not sure if these colors will be good. The color will work, work all right. I don't know. I just the pink face makes her look like she's blushing or something. I'm not totally in love with it, to tell you the truth. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, I like that better. Do that one with a little gem in the middle of it. And these are um, Prima, I think. Yeah, Prima it says got flowers do and just green, I guess. It doesn't have a label on it. It, was, it came in a pack like a five a different five different colors. So and these are 
just says rhinestone singles clear so I'm sure I got it from like a dollar bin pack or something at Joann's or Michael's or something like that they already have glue on the back of it okay whoops go get glue dot Okay, the um, stickles I'm using is crystal. Now why I chose this one over the diamonds is because it has a little bit more of an iridescent green blue color. I thought that would be good for wings. And I'm just going to cover the whole entire wings. That's kind of a pink in it too. I love it. That's so cute. Okay, so here's my card. I hope you like it. Happy birthday, Robin. Thanks so much for letting me be on your team once again. I'm so excited to be part of the group and working with you again. You're so great to work with. For more ideas and um, images, go to my blog, simply-pam.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.